grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Good day, beloved. Dream number seven. Okay. <laughs> it is December the 7th, 2017. It is 247. Yeah, 247 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to go right into this because this was just short. Very quick vision and I heard it audibly. I actually did post this on Facebook and, the, and on my Google Plus page because I needed to get it out right then. It's, it was a very clear vision and I, it's to the point. And the Lord spoke to me. I had this vision on 11-9, uh, 2017, and I did post it oh, that day so that it would be known. Uh, I was shown Trump, uh, and I heard, I heard audibly, U.S. allies, whoever the allies are, you know, I pray for more wisdom if it's somebody specific and you want to be sure. U.S. allies would draw, uh, the U.S. allies would draw them into a war, that the war will be drawn and brought forth uh, through the allies of the USA. For whatever secret plots they got going on, that's what I audibly heard. This dream was short. I was literally shown Trump and some of his allies. It was in the Middle Eastern kind of region, a, a, in a place like they were having a meeting. But I knew it wasn't over here in America, but he was meeting with these people. And as I was watching them talk in this area, uh, overseas somewhere in the, uh, the, in the east, uh, eastern region, I audibly heard, this is what I heard the Lord say, the United States, and this is just this short, the United States would be drawn into war through their allies. That's what he said to me. And that was just that quick. I'm going to record it in obedience. I don't care how short it is. Short as this dream is, I'm recording it. I'm going to read John 13 and 19. Now what? Now I tell you before it comes to pass that when it comes to pass, you will believe that I'm he. All of you know I've recorded a lot of dream on war videos just like anybody else, all the way back to 2011 and before. And I've shared them. Again, I say those of you who have not listened to the seven dreams of war on my page, please go listen to it. Y'all going to see some of this stuff. It is a red flag to what's about to happen. Next scripture. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there's no vision, the people perish. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. And they mocked, but they mocked the messengers of God and despised their words until the wrath of the Lord arose till there was no remedy. That's what they're doing now. Every time you reward, record a dream, they mock you or they despise you. To despise means you just think little of it. You don't pay no attention. They didn't did the work. They didn't did obedient and did it. You don't pay no attention and you despise it. You think little of it depending on who they are. Um, until the wrath of God rose and no remedy. His wrath will arise and a lot of people had no remedy. No remedy means you don't even have the ability to set it straight anymore. You will suffer the judgment of God. Uh, 1 John 4 and 6, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that knoweth not God heareth us not. Ezekiel 33 and 33, and when this come to pass, and lo, it will come, they shall know that the prophet has been among them. Return unto me, according to Malachi 3 and 7, and I'll return unto you. Acts 3 and 19 says, repent ye therefore and be converted. Read that whole uh, verse, uh, Acts uh, 3 and 19. Behold, I come quickly. Keep your garments lest you be walked naked, beloved. Keep your garments lest you be walked naked. That's Revelation 16 and 15. I'm warning the wicked according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9. And I'm warning the righteous according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Okay. Um, Y'all need to take this before the Lord. It was to the point. But I heard him audibly say the allies of the United States would draw them into war. And that is the end of this vision. Take this dream before the Lord. Pray, pray with me and pray for me. And pray for safety in Psalms 91 because y'all war is coming. You hear me? It's coming. As some of the dreams he showed me, bombs dropping all around people's houses. And they cower in closets. Some of them stood there staring at each other until the bombs hit because they knew it was nowhere to go. Please listen. Make sure the people you love know Lord. It doesn't matter that they hate you. It doesn't matter that they get angry with you. You need to try. Grace be with you and I love you all. Thank you for joining us today on Preach. Be a voice, not an echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.